Okay, I'm making this video for myself because I just found something really neat in comparing 48k or 48 kilohertz versus 96 kilohertz. So the origin, original concept of this is that I was comparing, well, as I said before, 48 versus 96, but I was trying to see how my song sounds different rendering to these two different kilohertz ranges. So what I did is that when I was just messing around is that I reversed the polarity of specifically the 96k. So even though humans can only hear up to 25 kilohertz around that region, what, because, uh, so reverse, peri reverse polarity, what I'm basically doing is reverse phase cancellation. And with this basically, if, of course, the two uh, waveforms are not gonna perfectly cancel each other out because of course, every time you render something, at least in FL Studio, it's gonna be a little bit different, especially with the amount of effects you have. But the main finding that I found of this is that giving that plus or minus of the effects rendering or whatever, if we apply that reverse polarity, which would basically cancel out the waveform entirely, what we basically hear with the difference of 48 kilohertz versus 96 kilohertz is that you only, you only hear basically the higher frequencies, which goes back to the equation of 48 kilohertz, which it cuts off at 48, and then 96 kilohertz, which cuts off at 96. Even though we can't hear that, we actually still hear that. And this reverse pa phase or reverse polarity kind of proves that. I'm going to play this for a bit and you'll see. Hey, what's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? I miss your friendly nature when you're not around. I've been thinking, we've seen a lot of shit together now. You're always coming to talk to me. With the EQ that I just did, I highlighted that, of course, you can't hear any different or with the reverse phase polarity. You can't hear anything with the, um, the bass, evidently, because they're being canceled out even with the different uh, kilohertz, whatever, going on. And really, you start noticing the effect at 500 hertz and above, which I'm guessing I would assume, well, I'll go to the main thing, the sounds... It's vastly different. Basically, all of the content above, what was it? Like, I think it was around, like, this 5K mark is completely... The 96K introduces this whole bunch of high-frequency content that you can't hear with 48 kilohertz. So, with this, it really starts kicking in at around, like, 500 with that electric piano going on. But it's interesting because I have read so many articles saying 48 versus 96 at some point they kind of don't matter because human hearing cuts off at like 25 or something. Especially like once you're like 20, like my age, you kind of lose that ability to hear over time and it's really like 20 kilohertz or something. But clearly with this, at least with what I'm hearing with my ears is that there's a clear added high frequency content with rendering to 96 kilohertz. Anyways, I thought that was just really interesting and 